Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. Yeah, you know me. Subscribe to Max One on One. Support new music. No charge whatsoever. This is a good thing. Episode of Max 101. Today I have, you know, Pedro Espada from Voodoo Moonshine, the lead singer. Man, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good, brother. So you have great news, right, about uh, Voodoo Moonshine. There's, uh, I know at least there's a new single and a video. Absolutely. Yeah, we have a new single uh, coming out December 15th, Locked and Loaded, and at the same time there's going to be the video. Um, we, uh, the band got together a, about a month ago. We flew up to Georgia and we recorded uh, the video for Locked and Loaded and Bring It Down, but we decided to uh, do Locked and Loaded first. Okay, okay, okay. So. Tell me about, this. so you have the full album or you go, uh, or you record a single at a time? No, we actually, um, we actually just finished the album as well. Uh, bottom of the Barrel, and that hopefully should be coming out sometime at the end of December. Uh, maybe maybe even the week after the single comes out. Um, but yeah, we try to kind of get everything done at the same time. Um, I know the beginning of this 2020 crazy year, uh, we did release a couple singles, um, but at the same time we were you know working hard to try to get the the CD completed, um, and we did. We're we're happy. We finally finished everything that we you know set out to uh, to do a little later, but it's done. So. Yeah, I love the song, I love the video, man. Also, I, you know, I have to tell you this, and this, you know, I know if somebody asks me who's the best singer right now out there in the market, I think it's you, man. And I think, oh, you thank know, you. no, dude, like, it's amazing, you know, I've been following you already for a year, or, you know, we, we already, this is our probably second, third interview, at least we both mm -hmm. this is my third interview, and I've been following your career, man. You are amazing, you hit every single note, your range, your vocal range is so, you know, uh, big, you know, and, and wide, you earn it, you know, so I, I know you, I know your career, I've been following you, and also I talk to my friends, you know, other people that they are experts, you know, other musicians, mm -hmm. and we all agree that you are a great, great singer, but I just wanted to tell you that, bro. Well, thank you, I, I appreciate that, it, it takes, um, you know, it takes, it takes work, believe it or not, to, uh, to, you know, stay in shape, eat right, um, do a lot of singing, try not to get sick, especially in 2020. Yeah. But, um, but no, I know I, I enjoy, um, you know, I like to take risks when I sing. Um, you know, a lot of singers, they, they kind of go out there and they either record it like that or they go live and or they either record a song not easy, but they don't take the risks that they could take because they're afraid that they may not be able to do it live. Um, I, I like to just go all out and just push it as much as I can and I'll worry about the live later and thankfully I've been able to, to do it live as well. So. No, definitely. definitely and, uh, you know, I, I see it and it's paying off, man, that you, you're taking risks, it's paying off. Definitely. But uh, yeah. this is something that you went to some, I don't know, college or some you know music school to learn or, or something that it came with you since, since you were a little kid and you liked to sing, so how, how was it? Well, actually, I didn't know I could sing. I uh, uh, I think I was like, I don't know. I played trumpet when I was young, but I did that for like six years. But when I was like, um, I think it was like 12, my dad bought me a drum kit just out of the blue. It's like, hey, you want a drum kit? I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> so um, I basically, I taught myself how to play drums. And then um, some friends from high school, I was just a... Uh, I believe I was just a junior or something like that. Some seniors came to me and said, like, hey, you want to join a band? And I was like, sure, I just got these drums and I'm really good, I've been practicing. And they're like, you can join the band, but you have to play bass. I'm like, bass? I'm a drummer. So uh, so I was like, well, you know, I'll, whatever, I'll join the band. So they put a bass on me, they, they just kind of told me, just hit this note. And I did that and started this really terrible band. <laughs> but I taught myself how to play bass, and I, I became a really good funk bass player for many, many years, and I was singing backups. Nice. Um, in the band, and I noticed that I could sing the high backups. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, eventually the singer quit or something like that and I kind of stepped up to the lead vocals mm -hmm. and from there I just kind of took it you know very I just, cool very cool how I many said, years I doing said, this how many years singing how many um I've been singing oh my goodness probably like 25 30 wow, years wow wow amazing dude yeah yeah that, 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 yeah I can tell you you're, you're very good dude so anyways Tell me about the um, the uh, again, you know, today uh, about this new album because I know the previous album of Voodoo Moonshine. You it's like uh, you re-recorded, you know, like old songs. Or how, how do you participate on this um, on this album? You know, writing lyrics, you know, collaborating with other mm -hmm. members of the band. How was it? Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, Jeff Lasore came. Uh, he contacted me online. He saw me singing a, a Steelheart song, and that's how he found me. Okay. And he and he asked if I would, um, you know, sing some of the songs that he had. Um, and I listened to the songs. Long story short, we got together. Um, I took the songs that he had the music, and he had an old singer, but I just kind of took the music and just kind of sat there and listened to them. And I changed a few of them. Um, I obviously recorded all of them for this new album, new, all the new vocals. But there was like two or three that I actually just completely changed everything. You know, wrote new okay. lyrics and new melodies. And that was uh, Bring It Down and Rise Free are the two. Um, and Bring It Down, you know, we released it. We were surprised that it came out, you know, so good. So we re that was one of the singles we released about three months ago. And okay. it's still playing. Wow. Uh, all over the world and radio stations yeah so wow. that song is doing really good um so yeah so you know he jeff kind of gave me the freedom to take these ideas these songs that he had and just give them new life and and that's what we did cool um, and it it's it it turned out really good so cool 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 and um uh, uh, so what's the plan for the future so probably 2021 you know with the vaccine the covid vaccine probably things yeah. are looking a little bit better now for the few ne nearly future mm -hmm. so are you guys uh talking about going out on tour uh wh what's the plan yeah so we're with uh curtain call records yeah and they're um they're basically you know helping us get out there and, uh, we already have i think I think it's like th four shows. Okay, cool. Uh, for Ju for July, some festival somewhere. I'm not, I don't really know the details, but okay. um, but yeah, that that's the plan. You know, just to get out there and, and uh, perform live, push push this album out while we're writing the next one. Awesome. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Curtain Call Records. Thank you guys for supporting bands. You know, to me, is uh, I've been working with them for you know a little while now. To me, this is one of the best companies out there. You know, they are very well organized. You know, it's a pleasure to work with them. You know, it's like uh, every time we coordinate an interview, you know, these guys are amazing. So a shout out for Gigi and all the, the my yeah. friends from Curtain Call. So uh, Pedro, so okay, what's your favorite song other than the uh, you know the hit, the new the new single that you're going to release in a few days? What's your other favorite song that, or one song that you ha are more attached to the other is there anyone oh wow well <laughs> i think yeah i think bring it bring it down is that was one of the songs that uh that when i heard the original version of it i really disliked i was i was just like i hate this song <laughs> but 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 i but i heard something in the music you know there, there was something in the music that really kind of stood out and i and i sat on it You know, I, I kind of would listen to it on my drive to work and, and I would write lyrics here and there, and these melodies. And I'd never told Jeff that I had already had an idea down until I actually put it down. Cool. And and then when he already, you know, we were like, wow, that sounds amazing. So I think that song, just because, you know, I took my time. This album was kind of like a rush to kind of to get it done. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, so we, we, we were trying to hurry it up, even though it took two years. Wow. That was a rush. <laughs> um, but yeah, bring it down. I, I really just like the whole vibe awesome. and feel of that song. Awesome, yeah. awesome. And uh, how do you guys uh, work on this record? You you guys like work remotely, you know, sharing uh, tracks and somebody mix them up together, or you guys met in order to to, to, to rehearse or something like that? Yeah. Well, this um, for this for this CD, all the music was already done. Cool. Um, you know, from Jeff's previous. Uh, project but um, so what I did is I redid all the vocals nice. and we did we did uh, he did have come down here to redo some guitar parts 
um, but most of the music was already done, so it was really just me singing them. Okay, okay. And we have Sean Shannon here in Florida that, that did all the mixing and mastering Amazing. for it. But, uh, yeah, Amazing. Amazing. yeah. But but for you know for the current for the new stuff that we're writing now because we're already writing, we basically just send ideas. You know, the internet now is so fast you can just send a whole song. You know, yeah, like, yeah, you know, super seconds. easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you know, you can just record ideas and swap them back and forth, and you got a song. Amazing, amazing. And, and one more question, sorry. So you guys mm -hmm. went to, uh, like you said before, in Georgia. So there's like this place, mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a old car city, or it, remind me of that. Yeah. And you took some yeah. pictures with beautiful girls there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm interested in that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we did, you know, we all flew down there for the weekend, and we did, uh, we did a whole photo shoot for the CD cover. Cool. And we and some promotional shots. Um, And we did, yeah, we went to that place, Car City. It's like in this huge, like, acres of old cars, you know. Um, and it's, it's, it was really, really cool, especially if you're a photographer. There's a lot yeah. of cool interests, you know, in the, in the scenery. But we had the girls, so that was even more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. it's impossible yeah, it was, to work like that. <laughs> I know. Somebody's got to do it, right? Yeah, man. I, I, this is... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, my wife is going to hear me. Uh -oh. This interview is going to be over in two seconds. <laughs> no, let me let me ask you, uh, because uh, uh, who produced this? Uh, there's a company right behind this. What's the name of the company behind this? The, the photo shoot and all the... You know promotions all that yeah roxy he um he's a photographer he does okay. the uh um i can't remember the name of the magazine now with flirt, all the hot girls flirt, <laughs> flirt magazine flirt magazine that's it yeah yeah, yeah ronnie magazine. shout out to ronnie ronnie yeah. yeah yeah he's actually yeah he's he's done a lot for us ronnie and pina of course you, you yeah know, pina, pina sweet girl yeah. yeah 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 they they keep us in check You know, they're like, awesome. okay, you need to go this way. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, amazing. I've been following all the, the you know, pre-production and then it's great work, yeah. man. Congratulations. It's, I'm happy for you. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's definitely a, a group effort, you know, yeah. it, it takes, it's, it, it, it takes everybody to get this going. You know, it's not just being a band. It actually takes support from all these people that are putting all their time into it. Awesome. So, um, so, it, you know, I'm glad to see it moving forward, you know. Awesome, Pedro. Pedro, I want to thank you for your time. I want to wish you, you all the best for 2021. You know, like, let's forget about 2020. Yeah. Full of projects, full of touring, you know, gigs. I uh, hope you guys see you live, you know, on a. I probably interview you backstage, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of, uh, you know, um, expectations for this band because yeah. I think you have a lot of potential. And also, you, Pedro, like I say, dude, you are. Keep, you know, take care of your voice, take care of yourself, you know, keep what yeah. you're doing because it's amazing, dude. And I, I, I want to see you succeed, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Rock and roll. Thanks. On Max One on One.